Jasper in the back room. Of course, the door closed. Here's a Russian picture with a bucket that is noticeably higher resolution than the rest of it. Oh, nice. <gasps> Not ready. I'm so bad. Can I go faster than this? I don't even know what that means. Zadania wypełnione. 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 Zadania Okay. Feel like this is a long time. Do I just press F and leave? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh no, I missed it. I moved too quick. Oh no, I didn't get any of them. <sighs> what? Oh? Wait, I just pressed F and it did end. Oh, it's paused. Um. Really? Wait a minute. Okay. What the? F this this game took a strange turn. Gotta say, beginning was very like grounded and believable. Now it's just absolutely abstract beyond. So. Good job. <laughs> what in? What am I playing now? That's right. I've actually, I'm actually not as interested as just the simple fish thing. Like, there are lots of horror games that have. That's a perfect fit. <laughs> okay. That's not quite right. It's not quite right, is it? I think you have the wrong shape. You can tell it won't fit, right? This is why everyone thinks you're stupid. Yeah. No wonder your parent left you. That's it. I won't have any more of your stupidity. Get out of my classroom. That's creepy, I like that. Reminds me a lot of like PS1 games where there were, had, you know, lots of sprites, so they would always have to face the camera. That's really cool, I like this actually. It's weird. Um. Your eyes are on the side of your head, though. Why are you looking forward? Eat your algae. Keep your sight strong. Is that what algae does? Barn Orchestra, the educational music game for all ages. But the, the guy has hands! Not flippers. Lesson 1. What it, does it mean to be a fish? Wait, the walking fish is bad? I thought he was like the next step in evolution. Legs are evil. Oh, am I, am I the walking fish? Is that the, is that what's going on here? Oh no, I'm a fish and I can't...
This is a hell. I like this. This is a montage. You don't see montages in games to pass time like this, do you? Oh. Three, two, one, zero, zero, zero. The Walking Fish won. I didn't play that. Damn. This looks amazing. This was very touching. I really liked that. I really like that. Thank you. This was some early footage from my upcoming biography, Life of Fish, which will be shown at the Sunfish Festival. It is still a bit rough on the edges, but the animators over at Fish Soft are doing their best to smooth it out. Okay. When can we expect to see this movie? Is this movie autobiographic? I mean, he just said it. Let's just ask, though. Is this movie autobiographic? Yes, this is 100% based on my childhood experience as a fish. It will tell the story of me being bullied in school and my decision to fly into outer space. Most importantly, how I found that finding myself in space wasn't the solution to my problems, or any problems at all. What the hell is going on with his legs? <laughs> they look gr grotesque. What, when can we expect to see this movie? Well, the first screening will be at Sunfish Festival, but we will have a preview available in the coming months. Okay. We heard you recently gave out a game. Gave out a game? Where can I get this game for free? Because I had to pay for this. That's correct. Before starting work on the movie, I came into contact with two developers who suffer from the same leg condition as I do. As a way to spread awareness, we decided to come together and make a game about fish like us. It launched on Itch.io a few years back. Huh. I brought some gameplay footage, so let's have a look. The Walking Fish. Hello friends and fellow gamers. Today we are playing a game called The Walking Fish. I just know that there is a literal walking fish. And honestly, that excites me way more than it should. Oh cool, I get a flashlight. That like never happened. Really? So I'm presuming we're coming here to kill the fish? Uh that was Oh Jesus Christ. That's the fish! I'm, I'm screwed. A I'm screwed. Oh, I'm a little fish. jealous that oh, they're died. playing yeah. a game and I'm just I'm watching. <laughs> failed to become fish. What? Oh my god, okay, I'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? What is that? What the fuck? No! Shit! Shit! Stand back and watch. Can I be on here? <laughs> Will I be in the Walking Fish 3? Yeah, fuck you, fish. I don't know why I hate the fish so much. Look at this don't forget gameplay. Fish. Don't forget fish. Don't forget fish. Catch you later, fishy. The power of fish is a curious thing. Make one man dive, make another man swim. Change a shark into a little white cod. More than a feeling, that's the power of fish. Tougher than muscles, rich like bream. Slimier and wetter than a sperm whale's dream. Make a salmon good, make a guppy right. Power of fish will have you in the sea at night. Don't need anchovy. Don't take bait. Don't need no gills to ride this boat. It's slippery and it's sudden, and it's blue sometimes. But it might just save your life. That's the power of fish. Fish, not the musician. Yes. I'm glad that they made that clarification. Um, really? Good job. That's right. That's a perfect fit. That's not quite. I think you have. You can tell. This is why. I, no wonder your pair. That's it. I won't have any more of your stupidity. Get out of my classroom. Is this that? Was that actually the end of the game? Because. E, uh, let's. Can I go through here? 
There are no alternatives. Oh. Slobby head slides. Oh, the game does pause. I thought the game might continue in the background. I want to just see if I can make different choices in the in the dialogue. This looks amazing. That was very touching. This was some early footage from my upcoming. When can we expect to see this? Oh, you have to ask all the questions. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that was the actual end of the game. Uh, oh, okay. So what do I like? I'm about I'm gonna do a thought of that. Um, I'm gonna take it seriously because I think the game actually did take it so seriously. <laughs> um, after that middle point, after because so. Okay, so this is a sequel. So it was made, I guess, for people who played the first one and was going to try and go... I, I'm going to assume the first one was just like the first half of this game where you're walking around and there's a fish and stuff and it's like a little basic, you know, horror thing. And then this game is like, okay, you've done that. We're going to take the joke of the fish further. But I honestly think that made it less interesting because all the stuff that it did of like trying to transcend itself um, and the you know the, the, the sort of the cliches of the horror game by having these meta jokes like the game fake crashing and then you go into a website and then you have to put in a code to play the rest of the game that stuff has been done before and I think that like with I'm Scared that was like I guess maybe one of those famous little examples but that game had a few things where you had to go in and like it would save a text file with stuff in it that you had to then read and do in the game um, in order to progress and I think if you're going to do that you have to do it you have to really have a point to it because it's not good in itself <laughs> you know especially if you've seen it once before uh, you have to like actually do something interesting with that and you could do something interesting with that like you could make a really weird meta game where you you know you have to actually like find fish on the internet or something you know you could actually link random well websites that they could find that are actually fish related and you have to like I don't know find clues on them or something that might be kind of interesting but just to kind of like pull you out of the the fish chase sort of horror game thing and do this I kind of found a bit boring honestly like um, I thought initially it was funny because it was sort of making fun at bad indie horror games of which there are many <laughs> and uh, it was replacing the enemy with a stupid fish because a lot of these indie horrors have really bad enemies that they think are good they're really bad and this is like intentionally stupid um, and that was kind of fun but then when it went away from that it, it just kind of got boring you know like I kind of I'd rather hear more about these scientists um, stupid theories about fish with legs and stuff that seemed more interesting to me than some meta jokes about the fish having like a you you being the fish and stuff you know it's just kind of like not funny anymore <laughs> it was just a bit tedious and maybe people who played the first game would find that funny but as someone who didn't I, I just didn't really plus I'm not someone that really gets into jokes that much like I, I, I'm not someone who grabs onto memes like that you know goes ah oh, the fit the walking fish isn't that hilarious imagine if it was taken seriously like art you know wouldn't that be funny like I, I'm not really like that so I wouldn't have I don't think I would have enjoyed it that much like that anyway um, ah, so I'm kind of disappointed especially for the price actually <laughs> five a fiver or whatever it was it's not a lot of money but it's also I could have bought an actually good game <laughs> for a fiver um, but then you know 
I guess props to them. I mean, the, the reason I bought it is because it had a funny premise of the fish. Uh, but I'm sad that I didn't get that premise. Maybe I should have bought the first one. Maybe the first one's free, though. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little... Ah, I don't know. A little sad about that. I like, I was enjoying it for, like, the first first half of the game. I thought it was funny and, and simple and... You know, you could get over the tackiness. Like, ugh, it's a shame that more. There's load. There's so many little horror games that come out that are absolutely shit, or shite, as the as the guy says. It smells like shite, and um, uh, <laughs> there's loads of them, and they think that they're doing something good, and they're not. They're just that really bad. And uh, it was good to see. A game that was like, you know what, this is bad, like it's, you know, poorly made or whatever. It hasn't got great mechanics or anything, but you can still enjoy it because it's got jokes and, like, the, the, the fish did make me jump when I first walked into it. Because I didn't expect, obviously, didn't expect a fish to emerge from the, the right hand side of the screen or whatever. So it actually did get me, and it was funny, you know? And so that's like, yeah, that's all you want, really. But it's a shame it didn't keep doing that. Um, I'm really disappointed by that. <laughs> so, damn, that's makes me feel sad now. Um, maybe I should play the first one. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to play the first one. Um, yeah, a little bit. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not. I just don't know who it was aimed at. It was like aimed at the people who'd who were already in on the joke because the, the especially the, with the YouTubers being in it. Who else has played it? You know, I feel like it is kind of just have many people played the game, I don't know but like you know won't a lot of the people seen those videos and, and, and presumably you put in YouTubers with their consent, presumably but then expecting them to then play it and go, oh haha, I'm in the video and I don't know what that is I don't know whether that, like you know, it's too like insular. Like, who's gonna laugh at that? Besides the the individual YouTubers, you know. Um, I don't really get what the joke is. Like, if if they if they if they'd done that in secret, perhaps you know, stolen their content and put it in because that's not, you know, artists do that. <laughs> you you break the law because it's, you're doing something higher purpose or whatever. Um, if they'd done that and then made a point about it that was funny, like twisted it, or, you know, did something clever out of it, that would have been good, that would have been clever, but instead it was sort of just like, the punchline was, haha, we've taken YouTube videos. I don't really get what that means. I don't really get the joke there, but... Yeah. In the end, that was Walking Fish 2, and I think that's the end. Although although in the trailer, there's footage of areas I still haven't been to, so it might not even be the end, I have, and, I, and I don't know. Uh, I've played through the ending a second time, chose different options, but it seems like it funnels you to the end, the same end point, so I'm going to assume that was the end of the game. Um, but if not, also let me know, because I'd I'd like to continue playing and, and run away from the fish a bit more. <laughs> was, the first half was really funny, so um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.